Okay, how about a review on this Rinaldi Calabria axe? Really cool axe for the money. I paid some, I had to dish out. It was like 70 bucks. But yeah, whew, what a nice axe. Um, got it from BarionicsKnives.com. Took like a week to get here. And plus I did the option, they will uh, thin the edge out for you and get it razor sharp, which it was. It came uh, hair shaving sharp and I got it. Sorry guys, the bugs are terrible out here, but it's been a training day. I've been out here uh, doing some shooting and I brought this ax with me because you know what, whenever you go out to do one thing, you do other things. So I brought this ax and I actually used it to clear out this uh, shooting lane you see here. And also did a little bucking and all that and made sure I had a nice little backstop. So I saw a lot of work today, so it's kind of kind of cool and I'm kind of ready to uh, review it. So it's a carbon steel ax head. They don't re reveal what kind of ax head, but I believe it's uh, like a spring steel almost. And it's a friction fit handle, so there is no wedge on this thing. It actually fits just like a tomahawk, which is cool. And you can see it is obviously press fit. There's a bit of a shelf there, so... <sighs> Sorry, guys, bugs. Um, I'm going to have to take that off and... <sighs> Ooh, horse flies are terrible. And uh, take that off and uh, sand it down and get rid of that shelf and make it a true friction fit. But the handle has some really light varnish on it. It's got this uh, label here I'll show you, just in case. This is the Calabria, I said. It's a two-pound axe. On a, I think it's a 22 or 23 inch handle. There's all different kinds of options guys from like a one pound head all the way up Very nice grain orientation. You can see it's almost a perfect 90 on that Very good straight grain even all the way to the top. No runoff or anything. Very good handle The uh, fit and finish on the blades really good. It's got a nice flat back for uh, pounding tent stakes Really nice good kind of tomahawk design to it with a very sharp edge very thin uh, Blade profile to this thing, guys. Ooh, these, oh, these horse flies are killing me, guys. So we're going to make this quick. Uh, very good performance out of this. Um, like I said, I use it to basically clear that path. So I did limbing for like 100 yards. Took limbs, little trees out, stuff like that. So it does a very good for that kind of stuff, taking off branches and all that. Because it's got that really thin, really sharp edge. So it does. It just does fantastic for limbing. It is. It's a really... Really, plus it's so thin. It's not going to be a good splitting axe, of course. But, uh, yeah. So I did that. And I did some bucking, which we'll throw in some footage of that into this review as well. It's uh, This thing hits hard, even though it's a two-pound axe. It does uh, hit pretty hard. And I think it's a lot of it just due to the uh, the really thin bit and the uh, the angle. It's kind of got that nice downswept angle to it, which you often kind of see for axes for softwood. So this thing, for me, this is a really good axe for this kind of application you're going to the range well not the range you're going to the woods to do some shooting you got to clear some brush maybe take down some small trees very good for that this thing is not going to be a good splitter it's not going to be able to fell yeah you could fell like see it's like a little tree in front of me here this beach you could fell stuff like that no problem little things like this but when it comes to the big boys like this uh, bigger pine over here this isn't your best tool for the job but for small camp chores splitting kindling and all that this thing's fantastic i'm really happy with it what i like it for is the ability to be able to take that head off so if i do want to pack this thing up into the adirondacks for you know backpacking i can do it so i think this is a truly backpackable axe because you can take that head off it's a friction fit just like a tomahawk but you're not limited by things a lot of the hawks have which is a really lightweight but this thing hits like a, a good hard heavy hatchet but it also has the length that so you can do some felling and you know, it's a, you can really get uh, you can really get a good swing on this thing. It really does uh, just the angle, the uh, balance, and all that. It does a really good job with all that. I think it's a very nice balanced axe. If you ask me, it's very comfortable. The handle's very comfortable. When I take that little tiny bit of varnish off and uh, put some linseed oil, this thing will be uh, very comfortable. I'm very happy with this. Uh, it's very rare I'm happy with something, guys. Especially when it comes to axes, I'm just a complete and total snob. But everything about this, you know, the head. It's centered very well. The bit is perfectly straight, which is a rarity. Cutting edge is straight. Everything seems great. I'm so happy with this thing. Just everything about it's nice. Good quality steel, you know, made in Italy. A little expensive, guys, but you know what? In the end, if you want something good, you got to pay for it. But I think this is. This is a great addition for guys who like to pack axes. You know, you can make your own handle if you want. Just jam it in there. It's friction fit. You know, so if you do just want to bring this to your bug out camp or something, throw it in an, an ammo can you got an axe you know and you don't have to worry about making wedges or fitting it you can literally just stick this thing into a tree branch and uh, go to town so it's a very versatile piece of gear and like I said the Calabria it's just one of them they have uh, 
all different styles and types that are all friction fit like this. I think up to like three pounds down to one pound with handles from like 16 inches all the way up to I think uh, 30 inches. They don't make 36s, but but yeah, very nice small hand axes these things are. Very good. Doesn't come with a sheath. I wish it did because it's going to be tough finding a sheath for these things. Uh, the edge, no issues with it throughout today. No rolling, no chipping, nothing like that. Very, very nice, properly convex edge. The guys at Baryonyx did a great job. So overall, I'm just uh, thrilled with this thing, guys. It's very, very uh, good. It's got that... <laughs> <laughs> got horse flies all over me um, so we're gonna get out of here so there it is guys very pleased with this you want to make your notch about as big as a piece of wood thing bites really deep. Let's see. Does its job. <laughs>